Hi guys, this is me Syed. So this is Linksys E900 router, which is up to th which gives 300 Mbps and reliable range, advanced security. So I've got it from Amazon for 1,500 change, and here is the original price I guess from the dealer side. So you can see it is 3999 so today we'll unbox it and I'll show you what is there in the box so the first of all which came is the router itself so let us quickly take out so this is the router Cisco's Lynx AC 900 so here are the ports these are the LAN ports this is the ethernet port with WDS uh, button or WPS sorry and then this is the power button so it's a very compact type pretty good finish and a matte type finish but it's a little bit harder not that soft so we'll keep aside so this is a quick guide I guess or some kind of warranty card so the language is different oh uh, yeah language is different so here you can see all the part number and serial number asking for all that so here guys this is Linksys quick installation guide so you can see that uh, it states how to install it through your laptop and your uh, it's available in different languages also so this is the contact information like India and all those countries so this is it and with that we have the CD as well to install so let's see what is the driver so it's 1.0 uh, uh, I'll show you guys as well so it's 1.0.0333 blah 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 anyways I'll not install it I actually I'm trying to install it manually and this is the LAN port which comes with this device so it's kind of pretty good finish actually a plastic type so with this box we don't have anything left good packing by Amazon as well so here the output I'll show you the output it's 12 volt 0.5 ampere so this is a pretty good compact type and uh, yeah I'll post another video for the setup this is just an unboxing of this device so later in the comment section or in the in my that is uh, upload system I'll mention the link for the setup of the router as well so please check that it's very easy to set up just plug it in and select your uh, you can go to 192.168.1.1 so it will take you to the routers page so thank you guys thank you for watching this video so all we got in the that is box was all these things a manual quick installation guide a startup kit with the cd this is some contact information or something so this is the adapter and the router itself so thank you for watching the video i hope you guys click like button and subscribe to my channel for more thank you this is Syed logging off. Hi guys, this is me Syed.
today I'll be showing as I told you that uh, the setup of the router so let's start so I'm running on Windows 10 so the setup uh, for the links is uh, like if you want to manually go there so it's 192.168.1.1 so there's a software also from Linksys okay uh, regarding that you can uh, easily go ahead for uh, the setup from the software so actually I'm using a manual mode so here we go so this is the setup right now in front of us I'm using a dub uh, sorry PPO PPPOE which is uh, for ACT internet you can use for others as well but uh, as it is a uh, van WAN cable from the internet provider that is FTTH it is RJ45 cable directly connected to my router and I've uh, punched in my details that is password and the username and then I'm connected to the internet successfully so you can even change your IP address if you put in zero or um, if you are comfortable with what all so this is the DHCP reservations that is all your connected device show up here you can even assign IP to them and here it, uh, it is the uh, DNS so I've selected as 8 that is Google DNS okay and then the time zone so uh, this is a setup for IPv6 which is not yet available in uh, my ACT so this is all the setup which is not available Mac, Mac cloning you can clone your Mac IDs it's like that and then advanced routing so I don't know what is this I don't know what is NAT so let's go to wireless so here I have selected as manual the first when I received it was uh, Wi-Fi protected setup it was completely like this so I didn't want this because I wanted wi wireless N only so there's option for mixed wireless B and G B G and then N so I'm using N then all this so security is you can select any of those WPA2 or enterprises which is uh, for the what is that basic working for wireless N you can select only those two so wireless Mac cloning that is fil sorry fil filter so this is like to kick out some of uh, the devices if you don't really want them to connect to your Wi-Fi router so here in settings we have firewalls and all this VPN pass-throughs have selected and have enabled it it was automatically done application and gaming I'm not that type of gamer so this will not be useful for me and here there was some problem uh, with my router so uh, this is a QoS I don't know what is it and WWM support so once I had disabled this and then uh, the router was restarted then I was not able to uh, connect to the internet not not to the internet connect to the router from my laptop but my phone was getting connected so I guess some bug or what I don't know so this is all the administration thing you can do it locks firmware upgrade so if you want to upgrade your file just choose the file which you want to upgrade the upgradation file will be available in linksys.com so this is the status of your router it's connected right now and my IP so this is the version I'm running now it is 1.0.06 so earlier I had uh, 1.0.04 I guess so please update it okay so now we are connected to ACT so let's uh, see the speed what we are getting right now I'm connected to 30 Mbps plan hope so it delivers that so it's 4 ms ping and the download speed is better it's 40 sorry 30 29 which is good I 
and this is the twin speed actually where in which you get uh, download as well as the upload speed exact the same nearing or exact 230 so this is also going till 30 so uh, no need to worry for for this okay so it is ping is 4 ms which is great download 30 mbps is my actual speed which is it is providing so they are providing me 29.84 which is better the upload speed is maximized it's 30.67 okay which is good so here in the setup if you want to manually configure your uh, router that is if you want if you have a bsnl or any other connection which is not direct to home that is rj45 so you have to first buy a modem for that and then uh, configure the modem with the ips isp sorry then uh, you have to connect this to dhcp then you're ready to go you can browse your net so it's like that and ppo is as is normal so if you select it so i'll show you the portal page where it will ask me for credentials i guess it's not opening so this is the latest version firmware version available so here we go it's loaded so as i selected dhcp it was logged out so this is automatically this is manual because like if you want to keep it manual you can even keep it manual but i prefer automatic so let me check this out so now i have connected automatically so this is ppo is helpful because like if the power is failure power fails or or uh, your router restarts no need for manual uh, username and password no need to type in and then connect it ppoe connects automatically if you select auto that is automatic configuration dhcp it will ask you for the password as well as the username so you have to keep punching in that details every time you uh, on your router or it gets rebooted so that's it guys this is the review for uh, links is e900 the unboxing video is also available so in case you want to know more about this please mail me my email is syd2033 at gmail.com or you may even comment below and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thank you